Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to unbox the Auntie Tay Hocus of Pocus Mystery Box. Now this is packaged really nicely. It's wrapped in tissue paper and right off the bat we have the cutest little set of chocolate paint that you have ever seen. Now it comes with all the colors needed for this kit and it is more than enough paint for everything. It also comes with this really cute miniature bag of bling that will be perfect to embellish the projects. The final thing in the mystery box is the tear tray kit itself. Now this is packaged super well so none of these pieces are going to arrive broken. Now if you can't tell already this is a hocus pocus theme and we have a I smell children sign. I do like how the text is connected to the piece that way you don't have to glue them individually. Now we have some banner pieces in there and we have like a little cauldron and the witch's hair and binks that we can glue to the banner to add to our tear tray itself. Next we have a witch stuck in a cauldron. Now I personally don't think it super fits the hocus pocus theme but I think we can do something cool to kind of try to tie it in. And then also we have these uh, little tags that you can see and it has another glorious morning and the second one says makes me sick and then it has these cool little star cutouts and little back cutouts as well. We also have this cute little witch's broom but I ended up not using it in this project. And then the final sign we have is a really cool hocus pocus sign which has the Sanderson sisters hair and the words hocus pocus as well. So overall you have a bunch of different miniature projects in this mystery box. So the projects in this mystery box are pretty easy to do. Uh, you don't have to think too hard about it. So I decided to just kind of divide everything up by color. So I decided to do the black color first and so I'm doing the black as a base coat for the makes me sick tag. And I also use the black for binks and I use the black for the bats and for the cauldron that the witch is stuck in. So then I decided to move on to the color purple and the purple color is a little bit thinner so this did require two to three coats. And so I just used the purple as the base coat for the second tag to kind of give it some contrast between the two different tags. I also decided to do the I Smell Children in purple because I thought it could stand out a little bit better than some of the other colors. After the purple was done, I moved on to orange and I decided to do the backer for the I Smell Children in orange to have just kind of a cool color combo. Um, I really struggled to figure out what kind of color pairings I wanted just because I liked all of the chocolate paint colors a lot that I just had a lot of trouble deciding. Now once the orange is done, I can move on to yellow and finish up the last few pieces that I had that needed to be painted. And once I finished the yellow, I forgot that I still had two of these banner flags left and so I decided to bust out the white paint and just paint those really quickly. Now for the bigger hocus pocus sign, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, so I ended up just putting one light coat of the purple paint on it to kind of make it look more like a stain because you could see the plywood wood grain through the purple and I thought that would be really cool. And then I decided to paint the top frame of that orange. So now that everything was painted and it was all dry, it was time to glue these pieces together. So I just used super glue and I started to glue all the little pieces to the banners. Now super glue sets really quickly so you need to be careful about positioning. A couple times I accidentally moved it and it was just going to be stuck in that place forever. With the I Smell Children sign I decided to put it on a little bit crooked just to make it a little more Halloween-y. So for me the most tedious part of this project was to glue on all the letters to the different tags. Now what is nice it is scored out so it's super simple super easy and it's going to be straight as the designer intended it but it is definitely a tedious process to me. So I decided to paint the words on the tags after they were glued down. It was just easier for me to do it this way. So I decided to make the words makes and sick be purple on the makes me sick sign. And then I decided to make the word me be yellow. And I just thought that can give a nice contrast. So I also decided to do the word glorious in the yellow to tie the two signs together. And then I ended up using the white paint again to paint another in morning. Okay, so one tip I have for if you paint a bunch of little tear tray signs or just little things in general, and you're kind of a messy painter like I am, like I got some purple paint all around here, one thing you're definitely gonna want is some kind of black paint marker because typically when all of these laser cut signs, the edges are already kind of darkish brown black anyways because of the laser is literally burning the material away. So I just have these on hand and then I can just clean up these edges just like so. 
And then now you have a nice crisp black edge as opposed to one with paint on it. So for the bigger Hocus Pocus sign, I decided that I was going to use paint markers to fill in the outlined design because I didn't want to glue those cutout pieces on top of that to make it the 3D effect. Instead, I glued the bats onto the frame to make it kind of more 3D and I took those cutout pieces of the Hocus Pocus sign and glued them to the witch in the cauldron to tie that piece into the whole Hocus Pocus theme better. And then I thought it would be kind of funny to make the witch look like the cauldron fell on top of her rather than that she fell into the cauldron. And because I had the paint markers out, I decided to just use my white paint marker to fill in the words Hocus Pocus and it did that really quickly. So the one last thing I wanted to do is I wanted to add the bling to a couple different pieces of the project. There wasn't quite enough bling to do like all the different hairs and everything. So I decided I was gonna add some glue to the top of the cauldron and make it kind of look like some kind of flame type thing coming out from the top of it. I just thought that'd be really cool. And then I ended up adding bling to the eyes of the bats and the cat as well. Overall, I love how this tear tray set turned out and I'm excited to do more stuff like this in the future. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the comment section below and thanks for watching.